guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a Cricut Tutorial Monday and we are doing some really fun planner pages. They are not just regular planner pages, they are whiteboard planner pages. We're using the Cricut Whiteboard Vinyl. Let's get going on this. If you guys don't know what a Cricut is and have no idea why you're here or how you got here or what a Cricut is, make sure to check out my playlist because you know you're gonna want one and it's just a fact. Most people who find my channel end up wanting one and then they get one and then they're hooked and then I have to teach you all these fun things, which is great. So make sure you have one. You can also use the coupon code NTT. Let's get going. This is a really fun one. You guys know that I'm obsessed with my planner. Alrighty guys, so I am obsessed with my planner and I like to laminate planner pages already. So I have a couple front fun free planners that you can find on my blog and I try to come out with new planner stuff for you guys that either I've designed or find some fun free ones for you. So check that out at nantitay.com and I just use regular laminating sheets that you can get at Joann's and use your 50% off coupon so you make sure you save money. And I just like to laminate my sheets so I can reuse them and I don't have to use up a ton of printer ink to do's and my weeklies are really fun to do like this because then if I end up not having to plan a lot that week, I can just erase it and start over. But I am obsessed with the new, um, and then you just make hole punches that fit into your planner like this. I just put it into my planner and make um, not dots where I want to hole punch them and then stick them in my planner and you're good to go. And But when I found out that Cricut had dry erase vinyl, you guys know I've been using this a lot and I've been trying to come up with fun things for you guys, but I thought how cool would it be to kind of make my own planner pages out of this. So I have a whole long designy tutorial for you guys on how I did this but basically I went in and I measured my planner and all everyone's is gonna be different so I don't have a template for you guys but you're just gonna measure your pages and measure where your hole punch holes are gonna be and then it's gonna be kind of a process but I'm gonna show you exactly how I designed these in design space 3 so you guys can do your own it's and then just save them as a template and you can I'm gonna be doing some more videos on just what I've done with my planner pages and how you guys can do printable stickers and all that. But right now, this is just the tutorial on how to actually make your planner pages. So make sure you get all your measurements down and then let's go. So we're just gonna create a new project and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build these pages out of shapes. So basically I want to start with a square and I'm going to unlock this so that I can turn it into a rectangle. Now I could sit and skew this or I could just come up here and I could make the size that I want it to be. So our width was 5 and 3 quarters, so that's 5.75 and then our height is 8 and 5 sixteenths. So if I want to find out what 5 sixteenths is in inches, I would divide 5 by... 5 divided by 16 equals 0.3125. So I can really put in that if I wanted. I could put it all the way to the 3.12. This is just an example of why our metric system is really stupid. But um, 8, so it'll be 8 point, what was that? 312. We'll round up to 313. 313. Enter. Okay. So now I'm going to lock this. Let's see. I'm going to zoom out and lock this. This is the size of our page. And you'll do this according to your pages or if you have the Recollections Planner and you want this, I will share this project um, in the links below. Or, um, yeah, so that'll be in the links below. Okay, so now we want to put our holes in there. If you have the recollection hole puncher, you could just keep this like this, but and then use your hole puncher, but uh, I don't have that. So I'm going to just create this template so I can come in here and make lots of different planner pages as life goes on because I love my planner. So I'm just gonna insert a circle. And one thing I didn't do was measure how big this circle is. So I'm gonna measure it really quick. And it's about five, eighths five eighths so if i were to do that um it's about a quarter a little bit more than a quarter so like let's do 0.3 um this doesn't have to be exact because it just has to fit but we do want to get it in the right spot so i'm gonna go ahead and just make this 0.3 and that'll make it a hole okay 
So I'm gonna zoom in here so we can get this precise. So what we wanna do to make sure that we position these right is we wanna set this at position zero, zero, because that is going to put us right up in the corner. I want it to be on zero and zero. So now that is set right in the corner and we can position these exactly where we want them. So we want this guy positioned at one fourth, so 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and that's gonna bring him over a quarter of an inch over right here. Basically what I did was I measured from the center of our circles and when you position, they position from the top of our circles. So I just zoomed in, and when you move your circles around, you'll notice you get a little cross in the center of them. And we wanna line our cross up to where we measured to. So basically, I measured my first one at 1.25, which is like right here, okay? And then I measured my second one at two, so I'm gonna line that up to two, and I wanna make sure that it stays at 0.24 distance away. So I wanna make sure it's X coordinate is at 0.25, and the Y coordinate is not at two because that's the top of our circle, but that my little crisscross line right here lines up with two. And then this was at 2.75, so that's just basically right here. This is half, two and a half, this is two and a quarter, two and three quarters. So I'm gonna line that up and make sure my X coordinate stays at 0.25. Then I'm gonna come down here and do those. So this was at 5.5, which I had already moved before, so I figured out what I did. And then this is at 6.4, and this one is at seven. So now, when we copy and paste them, and I want, there we go. So now when we attach them, so we select all. Or I can just select all up here and attach them. Um, when I duplicate this and I rotate it, they should be even. Right? So if we were to put them like this and we were to line them up, they should, their circles should line up, wham, bam, thank you ma'am, and then that will cut those out and we don't want to weld them, we just want to attach them, okay? So that will make it so that when we click go, it'll cut all these. So and now that I have them done, I'm just going to cut them out of some cardstock, and then I'm also going to cut them out of my whiteboard vinyl because I want to back them with cardstock. And I got this cute cardstock at Joann's. It's the Insta Crush packet that we used in one of our um, Tumblr-inspired uh, canvases that you can look up and find out more pictures if you want to see what's also in there. But I cut them out of the whiteboard as well as the cardstock and then I just backed it with the vinyl. And you can't tell that this, the circles are actually cut on this. When I pulled it up, it, they stayed in there, but you'll see that I'm going to punch them out in a second. So just line it up perfectly and then I went in and punched out those little holes. It was really hard to tell in this video, but they are there so you can see right now when I punch them out that they did cut actually. So it's kind of hard to line them up perfectly, so just kind of work with it and make sure that you line them up and pull those out and then you can pop them into your planner. And then what I did with this was I just used washi tape to make different um, areas on the whiteboard so I could use it as a week. I have this cute washi tape that I got at Michael's and I bought the entire box because I, was, I just thought it was the cutest washi tape ever. Plus I used a coupon to get the entire box rather than just buying a couple little pieces of washi tape. And But they had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That was my whole point in that. So I made a weekly whiteboard page that I could use and you can just track your to-dos or you could track where you're going and then you can erase it and use it for the next week. But basically I was super excited about that so I had to make this whiteboard planner page because I was really really excited like I just said <laughs> so um, you can see that it fits and it's super cute when it's all done